me to Canada. Fantastic. All right. Thank you all for joining and taking the time today. We appreciate the opportunity to connect with you. Uh, my name is Josh Hortiquin. I'm the Senior Director of Sales for the Americas for Small Luxury Hotels of the World, based in San Diego, California. My team consists of Julie Owens, based in New York City, Lena Marino, based in Boca Raton, Florida, Vanessa Johnson in Houston, Texas, and Dominic Laddit, based in Brazil and covers our South American market. Uh, if there's anything my team or I can do to assist, please do not hesitate to reach out uh, at any time. Uh, I'd like to highlight the upcoming webinars we have scheduled for the next several weeks. Our goal is to bring you up-to-date information from our properties in a focused manner. Should you have suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world you're most interested in, I would love to hear from you. Please email me uh, directly. And if you enjoy the webinar today, I encourage you to visit our webinar landing page for the latest list of webinars and registration links. We will continue to add new webinars as, as more of our hotels begin to reopen. So please, please do check back regularly. Uh, we have just launched our brand new SLH website and the travel agent portal is on its way, which will feature a great variety of services for our travel trade community. In the meantime, you may visit slh.com to book our hotels for your clients. You simply choose a hotel or destination, insert the desired dates, once you click search and then book now, you can enter your IATA or SLH ID into the field travel industry ID and proceed with the booking. Um, we also offer a dedicated platform to help with commission payment issues at commissions at slh.com. And for travel related general matters, you can contact agents at slh.com or obviously can always reach out to me at any time. Uh, SLH's GDS access code is LX, and if not already doing so, I'd like to encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. This team is spread across the globe, speaking over nine different languages collectively. And as you can see, this team can obtain quotes, make reservations, handle VIP requests, and much more. Now, before we begin, if not presenting, please ensure your phone or computer is muted to avoid any background noise. Agents, for any questions you have for myself, or my SLH hoteliers, please type those into the chat box. I will ensure each question is answered before the end of the webinar. Please note, your time is extremely valuable, valuable to me, and as such, each presenter has been given an opportunity to practice before today's webinar. In the unlikely event there is a technical difficulty, a follow-up will be sent for any missed property information. And most importantly, I'm sure we keep things moving along. And with that, I am pleased to introduce our 20th webinar, Africa Focused. Quick plug, if you enjoyed today's call, please join us on Tuesday next week for our European City Center featuring four fantastic SLH properties. Today, we have the Marine in Plettenberg by Martina Barth, Hotel Sarah with Awa, Le Maison Bleu with Amid, and Darlam with Munko and Romley. And with that, Martina, if you would like to unmute yourself and share your screen. There we go. Can I you hear me? Okay, yourself. good. We can hear you. Okay, wonderful. Let me let me just go back. So welcome everybody from the southernmost tip of South Africa. I am based in Cape Town and it's a warm, warm greeting to you all. We are new members to very, very proud members of the SLH family. We have three properties in the collection, but today I will be sharing some information for you on the Marine Hotel based in Hermanus, and then also the Plettenberg in Plettenberg Bay. I'm gonna start off with the um, Marine Hotel. It is in the coastal town of Hermanus. It is 90 minutes from Cape Town and 45 minutes from Cape Town International Airport. It is famous for the whale watching. We have the southern right whale that migrates here between mid-June to mid-November and it was actually um, named by the Daily Telegraph in the, um, the UK as the best land-based whale watching in the world. And it really is a spectacular sight to see. The southern right whales are very, very um, curious and playful, and um, it really is wonderful to see. But they also have a really beautiful wine valley, and it's the best place in South Africa for growing Pinot Noir. So um, it really is something for gourmet, for wine tasters, for families, as well as honeymoon couples, just to go and enjoy. We have a 40-bedroomed property, 
20 of the rooms are sea facing, so you have the beautiful ocean views, and then the lead in rooms face the mountainside. Decor is contemporary. It's actually the second oldest building in Hermanus. So we're all about the heart and the heritage. But at the same time, as you can see, it's been renovated beautifully. Lots of space. The rooms are very large. Um, we can accommodate families very easily. Lots of wonderful activities to do in and around the area. We are set high up on the cliffs and you have a beautiful 12 and a half kilometer cliff path that all the way to a beach and that beautiful smell of the sea and the fane boss in the morning is just spectacular. beautiful spa where you can relax as well and then i'm going to take you on a continuation on what we call the garden route which is almost like the great ocean road that you would have in australia you can most certainly do a beautiful self-drive along that road but we also in plettenberg bay have a lovely little airport so you can do a private charter right into plettenberg bay and Plittenberg Bay is the epicenter of all things activity to do on the garden route, from magnificent animal sanctuaries to the most spectacular scenery of where the, the dramatic forest meets these beautiful cliffs along the way. It, now we're going along the, to the Indian Ocean, so it's a wonderful place to also enjoy a beach holiday. We've got six blue flag beaches in the Plettenberg Bay area. So um, it's really the best place to have your, your beach holiday in South Africa. The water's nice and warm. We've got a 35 bedroom property set high up on the cliffs again, but with direct access to the beach. We call this barefoot luxury. We say we're not happy until we see beach sand in that lobby. And we've also been newly renovated but still keeping the heart and the heritage. I always say we're not about the what, it's about the why. And the, the thing that really drives the Liz McGraw collection, hospitality, heart, warmth, and really trying to make sure that we allow our guests to create the most memorable experiences. Look at that view. The first time I saw that, I, I got goosebumps. Again, we're very family friendly in various rooms. What's really lovely about the Plettenberg is that we also have two villas, which I'll show you now. Look how beautifully big the rooms are. Lots of uninterrupted ocean views. And then, as I mentioned, the two villas, we have a two bedroom and a three bedroom villa, each with their own heated private swimming pool, which of course, I think nowadays, um, the privacy and having those exquisite views are just really magnificent. Um, I have a very short video that I'd like to show you as well. For the um, villas, you can of course also have, um, we've got different types of service, but you can have butlers and private chefs that so we can really curate that special experience for your stay. Then what I want to do is just quickly do a short video, it's 35 seconds, just to give you, just to bring it to life a little bit. Fingers crossed that. Gosh, we inserted the logo today. I was very excited about that, but just to give you an idea. And the lovely thing about Plettenberg Bay, it, um, it's a lovely little town that um, a lot of clothing designers, interior decorators have retired here. So you also have these lovely little boutiques, very stylish, very upmarket, lots of little side street cafes. It is very exclusive though, and it's always been the millionaire's playground of South Africa for many years. And what's really nice for Plettenberg Bay is um, you can combine it with an Eastern Cape Safari, which is malaria free. So you could fly into Port Elizabeth and then it's only a two hour um, transfer from Port Elizabeth to the, um, to the Plettenberg or else, as I mentioned before, you could then take a private um, charter directly into Plettenberg Bay or the other way around directly to one of your, one of the safari lodges. I look forward to any questions that anybody might have later, but I'm so grateful for the opportunity and thank you so much, Josh. Beautiful, Martin. This is just Did I fantastic. stick to my time? You did amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> well, well done, my love. All right, so I'm going to mute you now and um, Awa, if you would, I'm just unmuting you now and you may share your content. 
Again, agents, if you have any questions for me or my hoteliers, please type those into the chat box and I will ensure those are, those are answered for you. There we go, Awa. Good evening. And this is beautiful Hotel Sarah. So uh, good evening, everybody. I am Awa from Morocco. So that was a small introduction to Hotel Sahrai. We are located in Fez. I don't know if you know or uh, have you been to Morocco or in Fez uh, particularly. So we are located at uh, three hours drive from Casablanca or one hour by plane from Marrakech, which is the most famous city in, uh, in, uh, in Morocco. So uh, why Fez? Fez uh, is the authentic Morocco, as I really used to say it, because it's still very traditional as a destination. We call it the capital of Morocco concerning um, the gastronomy, the, the handicraft, the, the tradition, the culture. And uh, our hotel uh, was opened in 2014. And uh, we had a previous hotel located in the traditional city and Hotel Sahrai is like a complement of that. And we wanted to propose a, a, a product that is different from Riyadh. Riyadh are very common in Morocco. We wanted to have something different where people can uh, leave the authentic Morocco, but in a very modern setting. So that's how come up the project uh, around Sahrai. So let me share some uh, quick setting about um, the, the pictures you can see better. Here we go. Yes. Zahrai means magic in Morocco. And um, it's a family business. We overlook the medieval city. So this is the view from, uh, from our rooftop. Uh, as uh, I have said, the medieval city has different sections, and this is uh, the Jewish section, and you have a very nice view of that section and also of the modern uh, part of, uh, of Fez. And uh, this is uh, the, the, the location. Fez is uh, in, the, in the center of Morocco. I always say it's located in a hall, so we are surrounded by mountains. That's why it's very nice during uh, the fall and also during the spring. Um, the, the best season uh, is from October until um, the end of June. July and August, it gets very hot as today. We can go to 45, 40, 45, 49. So um, uh, in fact, you could immerse yourself in the culture at every meal through the best homemade Moroccan cuisine that we propose. You will take your time to enjoy a Moroccan glass of wine at the Jungle Bar while listening to the live music or the mix of a DJ. We can book Sahrai on exclusive use for private events, or it can be also corporate. And uh, mostly you could immerse yourself in a city that has 100, 200 years old of history. And um, how to get to Fez uh, from, uh, from uh, US? We have direct flights from New York from Miami, but also you can combine uh, easily with Europe from Paris, from London, the main uh, cities uh, from uh, Spain, um, uh, Belgium, 
and uh, we organize everything from the arrival until the departure. It's a complete product. We call it lifestyle hotel because it's uh, really to, to, to propose something different in a city that is very known for tradition. Uh, so uh, we have golf courses also. If you have uh, clients who are interested in, uh, in golf, we have four in the city and Morocco is now more and more famous as a golf destination. We have several festivals all year round. It's really a destination that is still very unknown. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Fez, uh, of course, and uh, that's why the authenticity, you can still feel it in the streets of the Medina. You can still feel it when you will uh, taste one Moroccan dish as uh, Fez is very known for its pastilla. The tagines are also unique uh, compared to the other cities um, of, uh, of Morocco. And uh, it's a building that has uh, abundance for years and years. It used to be the French um, uh, house of uh, Maréchal Lyoté. He, he was a governor during the French protectorat and uh, the house was abundant. The owner who is an architect, he did the, the renovation and uh, called one French architect, Christophe Pillet, to make this jewel uh, Hotel Sahrai. We have 50 rooms in total. And as you can see, it's all about glass, it's all about stone, natural lighting, uh, something very nude, neutral, and um, that's how uh, we, we, we like uh, to, to, to show our um, open, opening to, to the modernity. So we are very family also, family friendly hotel. It looks like not, but we are. And uh, last year we had a partnership with Tartin and Chocola and all families coming with a kit. The suite was decorated with uh, Tartin and Chocola amenities. So we have six deluxe rooms that could be adjacent for families. We have also some experiences only for kids like baking classes. They can do some pottery workshops. And um, of course, as a five-star hotel, we have all the normal amenities. And um, when you come to Morocco, the best amenity we have is our smile. So uh, we welcome people uh, by heart. And uh, that's why we, 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 we like to do this, uh, this, uh, this job now. Yeah. So just to show you some pictures about uh, our hotel. We have twin rooms also, uh, if you have uh, uh, friends or uh, corporate uh, events, we can accommodate them. And some of them has also private uh, terrace. And of course, gastronomy is a key. And uh, our four different uh, restaurants and bar have everything uh, you could uh, enjoy uh, during your stay at. Hotel Sahrai. So it's from Moroccan cuisine to Lebanese. If you would like to have only tapas, we have uh, added a new wing that we call the jungle bar. It's very wide, like my hair. <laughs> and there you could enjoy some tapas uh, from Morocco. And if you like to dance, it's also possible. We, we wanted to do something very fun and uh, yeah. And I'm sure after this um, pandemic, it will be a nice option if you would like to escape, to forget everything that we were uh, living through and uh, have a great cocktail or a nice uh, Moroccan wine on the rooftop. Our spa is also uh, not to be missed because, uh, you know, with Givenchy, we have only four spa in the world and we were very lucky to have one of them uh, in Fez at Hotel Sahrai. So we propose all the massages, hammams, and for hammams, we have also called one Moroccan brand that is very famous. You could find it at Royal Mansour, La Mamounia, so it calls Maroc Maroc. That's what we use for our hammam experience. And of course, the pool, it's, a, it's, a, it's our baby, so uh, located on the rooftop, that's the only one uh, in Fez, and it's heated from February to October. And uh, all the events we could uh, organize, like uh, Sahrai could be take on exclusive use, like buyouts for weddings, anniversary, we can do corporate events, bachelor parties, and uh, all the activities we can do in the region, because the region is also very famous, 
and uh, you have lots of things you could do in phase and also in the surroundings. Of course, now that's the new uh, <laughs> situation. We have uh, set up all the protocols around COVID-19 with a very family, familiar brand, Crystal International. They are based in London and uh, now all our team uh, has been trained and they are aware of the barrier gestures and the sanitary protocols to ensure the, the safety of all of us. We in our, uh, 10 years ago, 10, 10 days ago. Yeah, 10 awesome. days ago. And our um, Hotel Sarai is inside the Medina? We are outside, we are on the edge. Okay. Yeah, we are on the edge. So this is our GDS code as we are part of SLH. And we offer a travel agent uh, rate, 50% off if you would like to come to experience the the, 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 the Medina, the Fez. I always say it's a destination that has to be lived because you need to understand it in order to propose it to your guest. Most of the time, I always recommend to come during pure life experiences, but I know for this year it has been postponed, but maybe for 2021, you could extend your stay when you come to Marrakesh and prepare two or three nights because we always recommend two or three nights for Fez. That's the minimum stay required in order to discover everything that we have. And Awa, one, one other question come, has come through. Um, are you walking distance to Medina? Five minutes. And we have a shuttle every hour to take the guests from and to the, the Medina. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Awa. I really appreciate that. I'm going to mute you now. And Amin, if you would go ahead and share your content, sir. Hello, I'm Elgona. I'm Ahmad, General Manager. I'm based in Egypt. I would like to share for you. Fantastic. Yeah. Ready to go, sir. Yeah. It's our hotel is La Maison Bleu Hotel. It's uh, La Maison Bleu is a lavash 19th century Mediterranean mansion. We are a very small hotel. We are only 11 luxury suites. Uh, each suite is individually decorated, its own standout style. We uh, we are adult only because we are small. We our hotel is located by private lagoon and private sea. And it's located as well in the modern privately owned itself continent resort town uh, in beautiful red sea known for ascension waterway, lagoon and sandy beach. Uh, the town is the primary holiday destination year round for both relaxation and adventure. Well, and what we making for Corona? In addition to implementing all advised health and hygiene regulation advised by government and earning the certification from Egyptian government to reopen the hotel, we have taken our protocol a step further. We already opened since 21st of May. And our hotel is implementing as well enhanced hygiene protocol with the help for under supervision for Tuvnor, the renew uh, it's a German or organization to ensure that we are a meeting with the international standard. Uh, as well, uh, the hotel is located in a private uh, on the town and offers accommodation for our staff. So as soon as our staff coming from the vacation, we give him, we make for him uh, a, a test and then we make uh, self-isolated for 14 days to be quite sure about everything's fine. Uh, our rates, uh, we have two types of uh, suites, premium and super premium. Uh, both of them have very speeches and big suite. The different, we have one of uh, sea view and another one is virtual sea view. Uh, the rate is starting from 240 euro till 650 euro, bed and breakfast. During the Christmas and New Year, we, uh, we offer extra luxury dinner and we have length of a stay, it's minimum stay three nights. 
uh, airport transfer is available through our hotel. We cooperate with the London Cab. This is our restaurant. And this is site from one of our suites. And this is the living room with atmosphere warm in the in the winter. This is our view from the different terraces. We have the swimming pool is heated, start from October till April. And what we can you do in in with La Maison Blue in Ilguna, the private town? It's ideally for short. The breaks and long holidays. It's located only 22 kilometers from the Horgada Aeroport, only short flight away from most of Europe. Its uh, airport is as easy access, is only one hour from Cairo Aeroport or from to fly to Luxor. And will we can do in uh, during your vacation? We have a uh, sea courses, fitness, winter sports, resorts, beaches. We have Lagoon beaches. It's very easy access to the beaches around, and we have a shuttle bus go around. We have uh, diving. You know, this is Red Sea is famous by the corals and kite surf. Ilguna is perfect for the kite surfing and also offer excellent wind surfing, water skiing and parasailing cable bark. We have one of the most cable bark in the Africa and Olympic standard. Bars and nightclubs in Ilguna, we have around around uh, uh, 100 restaurants and bars around. It's covering all the cuisine of the world. The dining and we have golf for the guest is looking for golf you have two golf courts and Ilguna as well is famous by uh, by competitions and festival we have kite serving world cup we have uh, Europe and Africa cable uh, cable week board we have a one is known now film festival and the uh, year will be uh, 23rd of October it usually be in September but because of the pandemic we postponed we have a squash and we have competition every April we have competition for squash must Areas in the town as well. We are offering every facilities, both owners, good needs, and marina departure point for trips to the Red Sea, most of the pure diving sites, and island. As well, for excursion in Egypt during your stay in the Amazon Blue, you can make excursion to visit the museum, the new museum, uh, pyramids in El Giza, because it's only 20 minutes south of Elgona, visit Horgada. You can visit Horgada, you can make a desert visit. This is all you can do during a stay in Amazon Blue in Ilguna. Thank you so much for your time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Looks, looks gorgeous, looks gorgeous. Um, so, I mean, I'm gonna mute you now. Um, again, agents, if you have any questions, please type those into the chat box. I'm gonna go in Romley. Hello. Still, still rather warm for you both, I still assume. Still rather warm, yeah. So, uh, so welcome. This is, uh, we're in Dar Alam at the moment, in uh, the oasis of Skoura in the south of Morocco. So far, far away from Fez, but uh, yeah, it's uh, still often hot. part of the circuit, but still very hot. Uh, anyway, I'm Mungo, and this is Romilly, and uh, we take care of the house together, and uh, we'd like to share with you our humble little home. So Dar Alam is a 19th century, very authentically restored Casbah. Um, it's founded and created by Thierry Tessier. So we like to operate a little bit more like a private family home. Um, 
And besides the actual, the beautiful gardens here, the fantastic Casbah, um, Dar Alam is really about experience. So we're in the middle of a desert oasis. It's very remote. Um, and we really like to immerse our guests within this sort of real life local experience. Um, we create lots of little uh, exclusive moments for the guests throughout their stay in order to surprise and delight. Um, so there's, uh, there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of culture as in Fez. It's uh, mm -hmm. similar, but very different. Um, a lot of traditions and lots of things to discover. So we have no reception at Dar Alam. We have no keys, um, but no limits. Yeah. Um, so there's, uh, aside from all of that, though, we have no restaurant either. So, I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. Uh, you will never have a meal in the same place twice. You could be enjoying uh, lunch in the garden under the shade of the olive trees or having dinner by the fire in a cozy little salon within the Casbah. Um, we would try to maintain that element of surprise. So, uh, and always done privately. Uh, there are also no menus, so uh, the chef works with any allergies or food restrictions that the guests might have uh, to, to create the menus based around certain themes. So uh, it could be traditional Moroccan one evening, it could be uh, fusion, like an Asian fusion or modern French, so it really, it, there, we, there is that element of surprise. Um, yeah so uh it's um so it's also possible to book one night out in the desert so we have a nomadic nomadic camp that's either out in the rose valley when it's very hot like now <laughs> or it's uh, the rest of the year it's in the sand dunes of the sahara so that's a completely exclusive experience um it's private so there's only ever one reservation at a time um yeah. Yeah, during lockdown, we have still been very busy. We've been doing extensive renovations and a lot of work to the house. Um, and we're also creating lots of new experiences and lots of new little surprises for our guests to look forward to. Yeah. Um, so post COVID-19, um, we are reopening um, with September. With, hopefully in September. <laughs> Although we've just got the news that our state of emergency has been extended until 10th of August. Um, <laughs> uh, but hopefully we'll be reopening for uh, September. Uh, we will be implementing all sort of recommended uh, government practices plus uh, international industry standards. We have created a detailed document to, uh, if, if you want uh, any further information, we'd be happy to share that with you. Um, Daralam already supports, uh, the philosophy already supports social distancing. So the fact that each meal is taken privately in a, uh, in a sort of private little salon or in the garden always serves straight to the table. There's no buffet. Um, there are only 14 rooms which are quite spread out throughout the property. So uh, even at capacity, we can have maybe 30 guests maximum. Uh, and there's very few public areas in which people can congregate. So the fact that there's no reception, uh, so there's no queuing or anything like that, uh, we're already sort of uh, implementing social distancing. Uh, we have adjusted our cancellation policy during this time. Uh, so any cancellation uh, more than 10 days prior to the arrival, uh, a full refund will be paid. Any cancellation less than 10 days before the arrival and 50% will be refunded and 50% will be deferred for a future stay within 12 months. Um, so, yeah. We have a little video for you.